All right, boys and girls, we are back with Module 1, Topic D, Lessons 9. So our objective today is to add decimals using place value strategies and relate those strategies to a written method. So we're going to be talking a lot about the place value and how we have either like place value units or like units or units that are not alike. So let's go ahead and dive into this lesson here. So first and foremost, number one says solve. So we're looking at one. They give us unit form. We have three tenths, so we know we have to have a three in the tenths place, plus four tenths. Well, three tenths plus four tenths, because they're like units, they're both tenths, that's simply going to be seven tenths. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. Now we have 12 tenths plus 9 tenths. All right, so now they're asking us to do a couple extra steps here. Not only are we going to add our like units, we have tenths plus tenths, so we know that 12 plus 9, we're going to need to regroup because we have two ones, excuse me, we have two tenths here plus 9 tenths. 12 tenths is made up of 10 tenths plus 2 tenths. So we're going to say 2 tenths plus 9 tenths is 11 tenths. So we have to regroup and say 11 tenths plus 10 tenths is 21 tenths. So 12 plus 9 is 21, and we will have tenths. So now we say 21 tenths would look like this. The 1 has to be linked to the tenths place. I draw a little bridge where we're linking the last digit to whatever the the actual place value unit is. So here, 21 tenths is going to be two ones and one tenth. All right? Same thing. Let's go ahead and go through C quickly. We have three hundredths plus four hundredths. Well, we know three plus four is seven, and since they're both hundredths, they're going to be seven hundredths. All right. Now we're going to step it up a little bit. We have to regroup. We have 27 hundredths plus 7 hundredths. Well, I know 7 hundredths plus 7 hundredths will be 14 hundredths, which will be a, a 1 in the tenths place and a 4 in the hundredths place, plus I have to add my 20. In it. So 27 plus 7. You can say 27 and count up. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Once again, I counted 27 from 27 up 7 more to get 34, or I can take my 20 hundredths and then add my two sevens to get 14. 20 plus 14 is also 34 hundredths. All right, so just like we said before, 34 hundredths would look like this. So we have 3 tenths and 4 hundredths. All right, last two here before we get into a, a little bit of tricky uh, where we have to rename. So now we have four in the thousands plus three in the thousands. Like units, really simple, we just say seven. All right, now we need to regroup. We have 39 thousands plus five thousands. So 39, count up, I can count up to five more. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 thousands. Or I could have regrouped and said, well, nine thousandths plus five thousandths is going to be fourteen thousandths. And then fourteen thousandths plus my thirty thousandths so remaining is forty-four thousandths. So forty-four thousandths will look like this, 0 0.044. That means I have a four and a hundredths and a four and a thousandths. All right. Now, this is where it gets tricky. We're going to change it up here. So looking at G. We have five tenths plus seven thousandths. We can't add those together uh, without renaming because they're not, they're unlike units. We have tenths plus thousandths, right? So let's take a look here. Five tenths will be five in the tenths place, excuse me, in the tenths place. Seven thousandths would be a seven in the thousandths place. So in order to add these two Unlike units, I have to change my tenths into thousands by annexing two zeros or adding my two zeros, my placeholders. Now, five tenths 
is equal to five hundred thousandths. So now I have five hundred thousandths plus seven thousandths. And I can say that's equal to five hundred seven thousandths. You have to remember that these two are equal. They're the same amount. I just put my placeholders in there, my zeros in. All right, let's look at H. Now we have four ones, four tenths plus four tenths. Well, I know that my four ones are going to stand alone. Let's add our tenths first. We have four tenths plus four tenths. That's equal to eight tenths. And then four ones will be equal to 40 tenths. Right? Let's take a look at it. This is uh, G right here. And this is H. So I had four ones is equal to 40. My zero has to be in my tenths place. Plus my eight tenths, which was four tenths plus four tenths. That's how I got my 48. See my 48? 48. If I say the number without the decimal, and then I say the last, the place value unit of the last digit. So 48 tenths is equal to 4.8. They didn't ask you for that 4.8, but we're going to give it to them anyway. All right. Now looking at I. I says 8 in the thousands place plus 6 ones in 8 thousands. So we want to know how many thousands is that going to be. I'm going to do I right here. Let's go ahead and put a little space for I. So I have 8 in the thousands place, which means I have 0 ones, 0 tenths, 0 hundredths. So now I'm going to put 6 ones. and eight thousandths. So now I have to add those together first, and then we're going to name it as thousands because we will go all the way out to the thousands place value unit and get rid of our decimal. So we have eight thousandths plus eight thousandths. Eight plus eight is sixteen. I'm going to, excuse me, eight thousandths plus eight thousandths is sixteen thousandths. I'm going to write my six thousandths in, and I'm going to regroup ten of my thousandths as one hundred. So now I have Sixteen hundred thousandths, zero tenths, and then my six is going to come right down here. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this. All right, excuse me. My six is going to come down. And remember, we read the number without the decimal if we're going all the way up to our thousands, please. So I will say this is equal to six thousand. 16 thousandths, because that 6 is in the thousandths place. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these. We're going to move through these rather quickly. Most of us should have this down. I'm going to get a bunch of lines in here, just so I can do my standard algorithm on a place value chart. So I had two digits. I'm going to put two lines. Three digits in both of my addings here. I'm going to put my three lines. Two digits in uh, C for both of my add-ins. I'm going to put two lines. D has one add-in that has four lines, so I'm going to put my four lines. This is just a method that I use so that I can ensure that I have enough place value units. So E has five. I'm going to put my five lines. And finally, both add-ins in F has five lines. I have five lines, so I'm going to put my five lines. Let's go ahead and quickly write this down. So we have zero, make this a little bit smaller here, zero and four tenths plus zero and seven tenths. Well, I know that when I'm adding these, I'm going to have to regroup because it's going to be more than nine in my tenths. So if I had seven and I counted up four more, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven tenths, but I can't put eleven in my tenths, so I'm going to Rename 10 tenths as one whole. So 11 tenths is going to be one and one whole. All right, looking at B here. So we have two and four hundredths plus seven hundredths. Same thing. We already know that four plus seven is 11. We did it as tenths here. Now we're going to do it as hundredths in B. So four hundredths plus seven hundredths is 11 hundreds, but we're going to name it as one hundredth and one 
10. Two zeros plus, excuse me, 2 plus 0 is equal to 2, and that's our answer. 2 and 11 hundredths. All right, if you notice, the theme carries out throughout. Now we have our 6 and 4 tenths plus 3 and 7 tenths. Same thing, 7 plus 4. We know that 7 plus 4 is 11, so we're going to say 4 tenths plus 7 tenths is 11 tenths again, just like it was in A. So we're going to regroup. We can't put our 11 here because our place value, our place value system, our base 10 system can only hold one digit, right? So we have to rename or regroup our 10 tenths as one whole. So now we have 9, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Once again, I can't put 10 ones in here, so I'm going to take my whole 10 ones and rename it as 1 10. Don't forget your decimal, and we're going to write our answer in here as 10 and 1 10. All right? Looking at D, D has five tens, six ones, zero tenths, and four hundredths, plus three. Pay attention to how I put that three underneath my six, because they're both in the ones place. My place value units have to line up with each other, or we're going to get the wrong answer. Okay? And finally, we have seven hundredths. Again, seven plus four. Seven plus four is eleven, so I know four hundreds plus seven hundreds is going to be eleven hundreds. I can't put my eleven here, so I'm going to rename ten hundreds as one tenth. Now I have six ones plus three ones, nine ones, and five tenths. So my answer is going to be fifty-nine and eleven hundreds. All right, if I'm moving too fast, feel free to push pause and try these last two on your own. We're going to wrap up with these last two. Let's go ahead and get them down. Seven tens, two ones, Five tenths, six hundredths, and four thousandths. My five is in the ones place, so it has to go underneath my two. One tenth, three hundredths, and seven thousandths. Add those up. Back with my three, my, excuse me, my four and my seven. I know that's eleven, but now it's in the thousandths place, so I'm going to say I'm going to put one thousand down, regroup ten thousandths as one hundred. Now, watch this again. I have six hundredths plus three hundredths is nine hundredths plus one hundred is ten hundred. I'm going to regroup all ten hundredths. So I'm putting a zero down, zero hundredths, and then I'm going to take my ten hundredths and rename them as one tenth. Now I have five plus one plus one tenth equals seven tenths. Don't forget your decimal. Seven right here in my ones place and seven in my tenths place. So that's equal to seventy-seven and seven hundred. 1,000. Looking at F here, the last one we're going to do, I want you to push pause, try this on your own, and then come back and check and see if you got the correct answer for this. All right. Thank you for pushing pause. Let's go ahead and take a look here. We have 75 and 604,000. So you notice what I said. I said the whole part, 75, decimal says and, then I say my, everything that's part of the whole I say it as if it is a whole. So I said 75 and 604. What place value is that four in? Thousands. All right. Same thing here. Two tens, two ones, two tenths, nine hundredths, and six thousandths. So I said 22 and 296 thousandths. All right. Let's add that up. I know I'm going to re need to regroup. This is going to be 10,000. So I'm going to regroup my 10,000 as one. Once again, this is going to be ten hundredths, so I'm going to regroup that as one tenth. Remember, when we're adding, we're always regrouping to the place value unit to the adjacent to the left. All right. So now we have eight plus one, or six plus two plus one, which is equal to nine tenths. I don't need to regroup there because nine can fit in my place value unit or my base ten system. All right. Now we have seven ones and nine tenths. So we have 97 and nine tenths. Now look, these are placeholders. There's no value there. You can put them in if you want, but you don't have to because there's no digit after this last zero 
And that will wrap it up. Boys and girls, hopefully this was beneficial and helpful. Like and subscribe and ask any questions that you have.